Where to begin? You know, there are lots of ways that you can start. A blank screen, a story to write. I can help you write story at me. I think that might be cheating, though. And what a story. I repeat, what a story. Yes. Do I start from the beginning? Um, it depends on how you want to tell it. Maybe I start by showing pictures of Adora's VTAC. You can jump into the action and establish a setting. Her sister plays the piano. On second thought. No piano. Not yet. Just pictures. This is Adora the year she began reading. I'll follow it up with the oh wow moment. Well, my name's Adora Svitok, and at the age of seven, I published my first book. It's called Flying Fingers. I like that beginning. Let's see what Adora thinks. Hmm. Well, I think it's important not to do it as a series of milestones. By seven, she published her first book. By eight, she did this. I think it's important to weave it together. Let me start again. A blank screen. A story to write. How about this one? It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Oh, no, no, no. That's already been done. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, and also, where's the worst of times come in? <laughs> Said the 12-year-old prodigy, who reminded me, now that I had a beginning, all I had left to write was the... Middle and end. <sighs> the middle's easy. Talk to the proud mom. It has been a story... Um to remember. Here's a tip. Use words that will help your readers imagine each supporting detail. That is very astonishing to us. Um, that young age, she has such a love for, for writing. Very good. That's exactly it. Astonishing. Should I put a surprise in there? Um, like what? Like this. A narrative is a story. I think it's good to show my interactions with students who also like to share their idea. When I, when I was at my school, I was bullied a lot. You might share the experience made you feel. How many 12-year-olds do you know are teachers? Uh, I think teaching has really become a big part of who I am. I know just one. Stories are more exciting when they're suspenseful. When Today, Adora is teaching 5th and 6th graders from Kansas conflict? about how to become Describe it. better storytellers. Right? Yeah. Now, you might be wondering, why is a 12-year-old talking to us? How many 12-year-olds do you know? Seriously, what do you think an innovative classroom looks like? Teach teachers. Using different mediums is another thing that is very innovative. On this day, New Hampshire teachers are picking a door's brain to see how they can make their classrooms more innovative. Learning really needs to be multidimensional. What are some of the greatest obstacles? An adult sees me. They think, okay, that's just a 12-year-old when really they should be thinking that's someone who can do great things or maybe has done great things. Add this to the great things. Now I want to start with the question, when was the last time you were called childish? Adora is one of the youngest speakers ever, featured at a coveted TED Talk conference. I love to write from the age of four, and when I was six, my mom bought me my own laptop equipped with Microsoft Word. Thank you, Bill Gates. An honor reserved for people like Bill Gates, Al Gore, and now Adora Svitak. Because the world's problems shouldn't be the human family's heirloom. Thank you. And she can add this to her body of work. Adora helped write her own new story today. Do I get a pay cut from that? My answer is the same answer her mom gave me when I asked her. Do you feel like you're pushing her? Absolutely not. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed connecting with you. Thank Every you. good story has a good ending. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, the end of this story is... Mm. How about something simple like ending with Adora's view of life? Sky's the limit. You can really do whatever you want. You dream big, do the impossible. John Sharifi, King 5 News. Something like that might work well.